Morning always shows the day and maybe that's what Mother Nature wanted to tell us that today is gonna be an adventurous day for us. Yesterday for the very first time I slept into a sleeping bag inside this tent and it was not at all boring. It was pretty much interesting and right now it actually feels like we are doing trekking and we are actually enjoying the trekking. Gabbar, the cook of our team, said a story that in Pekiltal, a yogi is staying from last 12 years, completely barefoot. We are really struggling to cover ourselves from the cold weather and barefoot in this situation is impossible. Yesterday, we thought let's go out and see him but we cancelled due to sunset. But all of a sudden, after waking up, I just saw him and my mouth was just shut for a couple of minutes. Is this real? It's just insane. I'm just thinking about his level of tolerance. Anyways, everyone is waking up from their sleep and preparing for their next destination. Right now, I am on downside from where we are staying and I started exploring here and there just to see the places around. Today our destination is Telang Valley which is only one hour trek from Bekeltal and that's why we are not in a hurry at all because we have to cross hardly one or two kilometer. I told Umrao you guys prepare food for us and in the meantime I'll go towards Bekeltal once again. Maybe the snowfall can change the beauty of that lake. I went completely alone. It looks different now. The entire jungle is completely pin drop silent mode. More parts of the lake is now frozen but still I didn't risk myself to go over there. Now it's time to return to the camp cause we are getting late and we have to complete our breakfast and then we have to go for Telang. But let me show one example about the hardness of the layer of the ice. In the second one, I almost got this balance. It was really scary. Now it's time to go for Telang. The roads are now mostly from the jungle. Woods and woods. Wherever you see, you'll see big pine trees. And don't know from how many years 
they are standing here glorifying beauty of this jungle Finally, we reach Tela. This big table shaped meadow is going to be our next campsite, and its size can be compared with two or three football ground. Yeah, it's that big. And in this whole area, only we gonna stay. That's pretty exciting. Big group like India Hikes or TTH, they usually don't camp here. After Bikil Dal, their stop is near Brahmatal. But I have already told you the advantages being a small group. This is our address for next two days. A cup of tea and this beautiful panoramic view. All my hard work from hectic train journey to eight hours of guard journey and then steep trekking. Everything is gone after seeing this beautiful panoramic view. Tilang is a place where you can get sunrise and sunset both and I don't want to miss any of them. So after completing lunch we directly went over the mountain just in front of us and that's only to capture some beautiful photos. Today we don't have anything to do, it's like a little holiday, just sit here, relax and enjoy these beautiful views all around. I think travel plan should be like this, where you can get enough time to just sit and enjoy the view.
it's almost 5 in the afternoon and sun is about to go down. I am all alone in this mountain and that's obviously to capture a breathtaking sunset. All of a sudden it started snowing. Omrao already told us that today weather doesn't look good and it will rain but didn't expect that it will rain so early. Actually not rain, it's the snow. One of my friends was here with me but just after snowfall started he went down and I am completely alone here. Just struggling to get a good sunset time lapse. This is the scenario behind an awesome time lapse. I'm just sitting here alone over a big rock in the middle of the snowfall. All this hard work will pay off when you're gonna visit my Instagram page because all of my mind blowing shots from Brahmatal series are there. And just after the sunset, I directly went down because weather is changing and it's going bad to us. Just after returning from the mountain, we started watching some photos inside our tent, and all of a sudden, this happened. Within half an hour, it started snowing so bad, I can't explain that scenario in words. Wind and snow hitting our tent so hard that we almost got scared. It's like it will blow our tent anytime. Later, snow started leaking inside our tent and it was a nightmare for us. Never imagined this one in my wildest dreams. Adventure is fine but never in this way. We started calling out Umrao and others but everyone is busy with their own tents and it, it was really a bad day for us. Finally we managed to tackle the situation with obviously some plastic papers and 30 minutes later everything became stable. But we never imagined what is actually waiting for us and that's outside of tent. It's like we are in a dream. The whole meadow is covered with white snow and it's pretty deep, maybe 2 to 3 inch layer of snow and we are almost mad now and I literally started running over it. We are now tamed but Sandeep and Ashifaya they took shelter directly to the kitchen from evening. They didn't even took any chance to go out and see their own tent. तो ये हमारे मतलब पहाड़ में यहां पे जैसे पत्ता गोभी कुछ भी जैसे ज्यादा मतलब आ जाती है अच्छा अच्छा सो द कंडीशन ऑफ आवर टेंट इज रियली बैड सो गाइस no one snow everywhere uh, over there that's our sleeping bag and all uh, here are some cat tripod and camera accessories all of my bag and all
temperature is almost minus 8 to 9 and it's hard to stay outside of the tent but all you need is good photos when i saw the clear sky almost decided to start shooting star trail photos as long as i can handle cause weather is freezing cold and it's even hard to touch my camera bare hand still i started experimenting and this whole telang valley is now a field test If you are still watching means you are my true audience. Yes, you are. I am constantly working hard on my every video just to make you happy. If you have already subscribed then I am really thankful to you and I know you are gonna stay with me for a long time. And if you haven't, I am leaving it to you man. Think about it. Stay with me for the next part cause now we will go for the ultimate destination Brambatal on the next part and that's gonna be the toughest of all. Time to say bye till then be happy and travel more.